In this video, I'm going to show how to get the ultimate joystick working with the Unity Standard Assets first person controller. Um, so in my project, I have the standard assets and the ultimate joystick. And the first thing to do is to bring the ultimate joystick folder into the standard assets folder. And the reason for this is that the standard assets folder, um, the Unity engine compiles that folder first above other things. And because it's compiled first, anything outside of it, it won't know that it exists, like the Ultimate Joystick folder. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it and drop it into the Standard Assets folder. And then what we want to do, after it compiles, is we want to find the sample scene for the first person controller. And it's worth noting that these error messages or these warning messages are all generated from Unity standard assets, not the ultimate joystick. You can see it's standard assets, utility, and other things like that. It has nothing to do with the ultimate joystick. It's Unity's, Unity's folders or in scripts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and find that first person character example scene. And in this example scene, they're using the rigid body FPS controller. Um, so that's what we'll be modifying. Um, and the first thing we want to do is actually delete their uh, touch controls that they have by default. Um, so let's just go ahead and delete that. And then actually just delete this too. And then we'll want to go into the ultimate joystick, which is in the standard assets folder now, and find prefabs. And I'm just going to use the minimalist joystick and we'll just drag out another one okay and just we'll rename these to movement joystick and camera joystick okay so the first thing um, now that we have our joysticks um, I guess we'll take this camera joystick and we'll put it on the right side of the screen so now we have it on one on either side and then go back to the movement joystick go down into the script reference and we're going to name this one movement okay and then on the camera we're going to name this one camera and the reason for naming the joystick is that we can reference it through code by this name we can get this specific joystick with that name so now we'll want to open up the first person character controller script And I'll zoom in so we can see. Okay, so what we want to do is basically find where they are bringing in the input, um, which if we scroll down, on my project it's line 217, is the X is equaling our input manager horizontal and our input manager vertical. So what we'll want to do is if we click on the joystick, there's a nice little features here that makes it to where you can copy and paste this code. So let's just take this right here, copy that, make sure it doesn't have the semicolon at the end because Unity's doesn't use that. So we're going to go here and paste that and then go back and then change it to vertical axis and then copy that same thing and we'll paste it right here. Okay, and then we can save that. And now we'll go back. And now um, what what um, takes care of the looking around is this mouse look here, but it's actually its own script. So we're going to find that, which should be open right here, but if not, you can click on this, and then it'll bring that folder so you can find that mouse look script. So click on that. And then right off the bat, you can see here is that same thing, get access, these two functions here. So if we go to our camera joystick, our one on our right side, go down to the script reference function or uh, section, and then make sure it's get horizontal axis, copy that code again, and we're going to paste it for mouse X, and then we're going to change this to vertical axis copy that, bring it back to here and paste that over the mouse Y, save that, go back to Unity, and then one very last thing to do that's important is on the rigid body FPS controller um, 
uh, game object up here, go into here and look at the mouse look settings and uncheck the lock cursor boolean. This is, this is important because it won't lock our cursor so we can actually move it around for testing. So now everything should be set so let's press play and now we can see if we use this joystick we move around and if we use this one we can look around. So that's how to get the ultimate joystick implemented into Unity's first person character controller.